G'day everyone, it's Huey and we're back for some more ETS2 uh, Truckers MP and we're doing the Iberia, Cruising Iberia um, DLC event. So we got ourselves a new garage in the uh, last week <clears throat> and we're gonna hop on. I uh, can't see it being too busy, nope. So we're joining a quiet server at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I record these when I can, so, um, and obviously being on the other side of the world, um, time, time zone doesn't always line up with, uh, the busy periods, so I hope you can forgive that. I'll try and keep it as, uh, interesting as possible. Okay, so before I go ahead and buy, uh, um, recruit more workers for our new station. We're going to have to take on a job and maybe take a rest stop on the way if we can. So, actually we probably won't need to, just need to finish a job. Oh. Well. That's not good. Nothing in Leon. I guess we'll uh, we'll have to try and travel over here, or go to Burgos because we are trying to get to Barcelona. So that's what we're gonna do. Burgos. We've been past it, but we haven't actually been there as such. So... Let's, um... Let's head up here. Yeah, that's our best bet. <clears throat> oh, that's right, we... <laughs> we it parked in a bit of a funny location, so... Uh... I think we'll go around this way. Oh, yeah, we actually can. Sometimes it's a bit confusing how they, uh, especially, well, these new Spanish ones are a little confusing. And I'm going to try and uncover whatever that, uh, mystery one is. I hope I can turn right. Yep. I think. Past, uh, I think it was a recruitment agency, so. Alright, cool. So, three hour trip to go find some work.
very dark here at 2 in the morning, so... <laughs> Again, at least we can now go a bit faster since discovering that uh, we're only going to get 110 speed limit. Although it, it seems to be, uh, it seems to have been upped a bit, but I don't know if that's due to. Um, Overall fixes, as I said uh, in the last episode, I do, and the one before that, I don't get onto the forums that much anymore. So I don't know if that's just something that needs that they that the uh, devs need to update, or if it's now a permanent thing. If it's a permanent thing, I'm a little hopeful that uh, devs have had a change of heart <clears throat> and realised that, you know, taking uh, input on board from your communities um, usually a good thing. Not always, but for things like this, definitely. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this as interesting as possible for you all. <laughs> This will be a good one, if I, if I can get it to work. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Oh well. It, it just does kind of feel like driving um, through certain parts of Australia, like in the middle of the night, like in the dead of night.
like it gets um, deathly quiet. Like I grew up out out in the outback, and uh, yeah, certain certain times. I think we need to go over here. Yeah, at certain times it can be a case of like you won't see another car on, on, on the road for you know a half an hour 45 minutes and that's if you're lucky already on the on the highway So, always a good idea to keep your distance uh, in Trucker's MP because of oh, rubber banding. Oh, he's got B double. You know what, I really should get a B double trailer. Oh, he's from Argentina too, so yeah, he's, he's going to have a pretty high ping, not as high as mine, but reasonably high. Another one. Now that won't count <clears throat> to our overall uh, achievement unless we can get a job here. Oh. Now that wasn't confusing at all, was it? close. Shaving that barrier there. Oh, traffic lights. Haven't seen those for a while. DAF dealer. Nice. Um, I'm just going to pull up here.
Okay. Let's see what we can get. Barcelona. That's what we're. That's what I was hoping to get. Let's let's do it. Deliver some beef. So if we can complete this, it'll count as two. It's only three. It's only um. It's very close. So that's good. Eczema. E eczema, that sounds really bad, doesn't it? No? Oh yeah, it is. Hey, have you got eczema? It's just over there, right? It's not a bad pickup point. Except for that stupid railing that's in the way. And there we go, they can load her up, and... It takes like... Is that an hour? Okay. So now, what we can do... Now we've got our, our pick up. Some time has kind of progressed, sort of. Uh, we can go to our trailer manager. And go to trailer purchase. And then... Go to my fleet configurations, and we're going to buy a few trailers for the garage we bought in the last episode. So I'm just going to keep it simple. Got a couple of curtain sliders. Put them up here. So you can actually uh, make more money out of these, so... Uh, side door refrigerator. We'll get those. 
And we got three of those. Alright, now it's time to hire five drivers. So we'll go to the recruitment agency, hire a driver, and who have we got? Hmm. Let's get Christine. She wants a bit of money, but she's got some really good stats, so hire her, she can run the joint. Okay. Uh, he's got some good DG training. He might be better because he can do long distance. Yeah, let's get our distance driver there. Oh, actually, let's grab this guy. And then, oh, that's a wicked mo. Oh, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Yep. Right, if you need someone to be the face of your company, may as well make it a good looking face. Speaking of good looking faces, Lucas isn't bad either. <laughs> Although, I can't go past... where was it? This. This Mo is awesome. So we're gonna hire you, just, just for the Mo. I don't want to be accused of being sexist, so... Out of these two, I think Michaela's better. But Elsie's got a bit more distance training. She can do fragile. But she'll save me money. Hmm. Let's go for Elsie. Oh, Elise. Sorry, Elsie. Ruth's not too bad either, but... We can always get him trained up. There we go. So, let's get going. Seven hours, 26 minutes. That's not too bad. Raking the cash in like that. This lot's just paid for all those trailers and stuff, pretty much.
Like, why did you slow down, dickhead? Reuben. You moron. So this one should count for two deliveries, or two locations, because we picked up at a new location and we'll be delivering to a new location. Sorry that we can't see much at the moment, folks, but the sun should be coming up fairly soon. Another freaking toll. So yeah, we will be buying another garage, this time in Barcelona. Stretch a road for us by the looks of it, yep. Excellent.
really not much to say at the moment. Um, except here's a, hopefully, a drive-by shot. A bad one. Let's try that again. Uh, not playing ball. Well, here's a wheel shot. So Barcelona will be, uh, that'll be interesting to check out when we get there. Should be a few nice landmarks, well at least I hope there is. Very straight stretch of road coming up. At least for a little while. cruisy. Absolutely no one around. <laughs> the sun seems to be a bit late coming up here. Usually, uh, it's overcast. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Ah, uh, fresh air. So they look like they were part of a v VTC, and they probably got pissed off at me for forgetting to dip my lights. It happens.
getting a little busier, busier around here. By the looks of it. this count? I don't know. Yes! Oh, hell yes. So, I think that counts as another one. Possibly. Or it might just be, uh... I think it might just be the delivery and pickup. You tricked me. I thought I had to merge, but I didn't. Well played. This one I do. Uh. Wait. Did they up the city speed limits too? Okay. <clears throat> this might be an unpopular opinion and Given what I talked about <clears throat> uh, in the last two episodes, um, <clears throat> the 60k speed limit in cities I actually agreed with. Now hear me out, usually cities, even the more quiet ones, tend to be more populated. So, that's my reasoning behind that. So, I had absolutely no issue I can go through this one. Cool. That was not exactly straightforward, was it? Um, yeah, because the city areas tend to have a lot more other, other players around them. Um, I had no issue with the 60k speed limit in cities. Yeah, sometimes it could be a pain, especially in, uh, I think in Istanbul, where a city zone is counted as, like, a fairly massive area where you've got... Uh, a rather large highway going through there but at the end of the day you know we all have to make compromises and that was my whole point about my personally being against the uh, open highway limit being stuck at 90 for everybody it literally made no sense to me. Other than, like I said, you, you, you know, the fallback argument is always, It's a simulator! I mean, I, I... That argument... And we're getting a little political here, but, okay, here's the analogy. In some places, you can go to jail for, sim for simple drug use. Now, I'm one of those people that believes that drug addiction is a medical issue, not a, um, it shouldn't be, should not be a legal one. It is, in a lot of places, because of current laws, but... 
I personally don't give a shit if people use drugs. Like, as long as they're not affecting me, uh, you know, then I don't care. Up to the point where, if it does start affecting me, or people I know, or, uh, you know, ups, you know, uh, upstanding members of society, let's, let's just say, then, again, it needs to be treated as a medical issue. So just because something, um, is the way it is, is not a good argument. So, my analogy there um, is relevant in that just because this is a simulator doesn't mean the speed limits have to be 90. It's a stupid, reductive argument and frankly, lazy. Lazy, annoying, um, like I get it, if, you know, uh, a, a, and it's a fairly valid point, people bring up uh, calais Duisburg Road, but here's the thing, that region of, of the server, or servers, are usually heavily patrolled by admins um, and a lot of players are more than willing to make reports where needed. So <clears throat> you want to enforce a 90k speed limit in those areas? Fine, that makes sense, but at the same time it seems to me you can do that pretty easily anyway, considering that most, for the most part, most of the admins and mods hang around that those regions anyway, so... They patrol in their little cop cars, so if they want to play pretend police, they can, you know, they can do that. I mean, <clears throat> they kick you for breaking speed limits anyway, so... So you get caught by one of them, you get kicked. That's fair enough. So, yeah, I personally, let, let's put it this way, I personally have a, a far more nuanced view of things. Generally speaking. Okay, the T. I gotta look out for the T's. Now I'm I'm working the pattern out now. So yeah. So, uh, you know, I do apologise for having to bring a, you know, use politics or, or a political slash medical issue to make that analogy, but I think it's very, very relevant. If the shoe fits, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, he is a very, uh, happy greeter. Okay, looks like it's three lanes all the way through here, which makes sense. Porta de Barcelona. That looks, uh, 
It's kind of nice around here, actually. Now, I think... Yeah, it had to be in this lane. A lot of people are in here. At the moment, anyway. So, do I want to be in that lane? Yes. Oh, we gotta go past the, um, the garage anyway. Hmm. No, we'll go drop it off. Drop it off first. Jesus, e even the industrial zones in Barcelona are nice. <laughs> Just kind of soaking it all in at the moment. I like to be able to see the lights, but, you know, it's not a big deal. Just go to third person. this place is. Let's do it. <clears throat> oh, around the, around the back. Okay. Uh, I can't drive around there, so... 
like around the other side, I mean. So we'll have to go this way. So I need to get it much closer to that other trailer. But not too close. Tight fit, very tight. That'll do. That will do. Alright, we did it. Alright, let's unload. Excellent, and yep, that counted as two, not not three. I suspected it was only going to be two, but hey, five to go. <clears throat> but, we need to go by ourselves a garage. And I want to go via this joint here. So, let's click on that, and click on that. Yeah, it'll take us around this way. Awesome. Let's go have another little drive. How much time we got left? Okay, plenty.
Wow, they got a tra train line that goes to a roundabout. What was I saying last episode? Spain, you're drunk. I wasn't sure if I'd need to get closer. I've been caught out by that once. Where I was too far in the in like toward the middle lane. And it didn't register. I was like, what <laughs> Jesus. At least we uncovered a bunch of roads. So that's something. Oh, it's going to be interesting with a double trailer. So, yeah, I will be buying a double trailer. Uh, for the Barcelona garage. I don't know if I'll bother for the others. I know I bought a whole heap for all the... Uh, Scandinavian ones, but like honestly, I've got 337 million pounds. I don't know how necessary that's going to be. I do prefer to get the uh, refrigerated trailers because for some reason, okay, A, you can get more jobs. So that's probably the most important thing. Bloody Canadian. Jeez. Who let you guys in? <laughs> okay, let's buy it. Oh. Very nice. Good old Hugo. Where Hugo? Uh, then next. Uh, garage manager. Upgrade. So I've got a big garage now in Barcelona. So very nice. Now we need a truck dealer. So of course we need to buy our trucks. So we'll get those out of the way. Uh, truck dealer. Uh, yep. They get all our business, so. Uh, fleet. Yep. There we go. Is that. Uh, which one was. Wait a minute. 
That's not telling me which is which. What? Uh, I think this is the... Hang on. It's not telling me... I have to go and customize. So this is left-hand drive. Yep, yep, okay. So we'll purchase those. Uh, of course, again, I won't recruit drivers just yet. And I'm only going to get one trailer for Barcelona. One uh, sorry, I'm going to buy five, but I'm also going to buy one double trailer. They should be able to manage with <laughs> that configuration, right? Sure they can. Uh, and we'll purchase that one. Okay. Now, so we don't get booted. Um, just come over here. So first things first, we've got to dismiss the one we've uh, currently got. So, uh, actually there's a few things I'm going to have to do. I want to get a better truck. So, truck manager. Uh, table view. Oh, damn. Hang on, it would have been one I bought fairly recently, yeah? Oh, I wish you could filter this. Anyway. So, we've got... So, this new actress. I don't want that one. Um. Sure. We'll have to kit that one out though. Yeah. I want to go back to Barcelona. So we're back in London. And then we'll go. Uh... You know what? Let's kit it out. Yeah, let's go kit it out first. So I realized I only kitted out my, uh, my standard truck. This one I need for B-doubles. Oh, we need fuel too. on the uh, left side of the road this time. Yeah, that's what you get, mate. You friggin' idiot. Calm as a bitch, ain't it, mate? <laughs> he 
He's got to be a bit triggered by that. Trying to... Oh, God. Just rushing through the lights. That's what I mean by 12-ies. That's the sort of shit 12-ies do. Oh yeah. All right, we're about to kit it out. So, truck configurator. So we'll start with that. That's all good. Chassis, good. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Exclusive paint job's good. Now, this is where things are going to get interesting. Ooh. Lovely. Oh, we want everything paint. Paint and chrome. Obviously. So do you want Diva or... Hmm. Okay, Diva. I do like the Centurion. Yeah, Centurion's better. Definitely the best one. that. Uh, paint and chrome. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. Michelin is fine. What have we got here? We've got paint and chrome. Very nice. So we've done all that. Right, yep. Volvo, Chrome, oh yes, Flex Fine, Chrome Luxury, already got Chrome there, lots of Chrome, 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 Chrome. Oh, give me the how to. Hell yes. All right, so we want FH sixteen, FH sixteen, windshield center. Give me that one. Stone guard for, of course. Much better as that looks. Stainless steel. I want the. No, I want the. Which looks better? Honestly, I think the HS one looks better. Yeah, I'm fine with that bull bar. But it's probably my favourite. Uh, exclusive LED. Yes. Front mask. Actually, 
Yep, doesn't matter. So we'll go LED strobe, LED strobe, uh, those on. All bars good, yep. Ah, uh, no. There's, the thing that sucks about this is there's no undo function. Ah, uh, when you make a mistake, you have to either redo the whole thing, or go go out. Probably would have been quicker to actually just go out of it and, sorry, to refit it, but anyway. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. How it does it. It's so annoying. Right, start again. Right, paint chrome. Yes. Rear bumper. Go right there. I go black. Main Chrome, Centurion, Diva, do it up. Uh, ooh. Very nice. Um. Yeah, give me the Hyperion Chrome. I'm good with the rest, but I want these. Got Ranger. I'm good, I'm good with. Uh, yeah, we wanted the Howl. Um, I'm good with everything else there. Okay, yep. Exclusive LED. I guess. Flaps. Oh, there we go. Why don't they make that mistake again? Oh, so it puts the lights back on automatically for you, so that's good. Uh, plastic and chrome. Hmm. Let's just go chrome. Uh. can just be these. Yep. Stainless steel. Yep, looks good to me. Got LED strobe there. Strobe there. Light. 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 And light. 
за crime. Paint. Is that it? Are we done? I think so. No, I don't want to change that. That, that looks good enough. Change the wheel nuts on this side. Yes, yes, it did. That looks pretty darn cool to me. All right, now interior accessories. That's fine. What else do we got? That might be a hint. I hope it is. Chrome ribbon. Oh, we're gonna go space shuttle. Hell yes. All right, curtains. We go Volvo dark. Sun visor. We've already got that sorted. Um. I'm good with that. Anything else? Oh yeah. Oh, what's this? That's new. Um Let's go flames, why not? Oh let's go. Shut up. Game box. Page blanket. Truck bag. Let's go the blanket. And this looks better, that one. Definitely that one. So CB's working, we know that at least. Um, King Mankwa Valley. Gonna change the good years. Now you know what? I'm going to keep the Michelins. I'm actually gonna, yeah. So then, let's go back in here. I'm going to change this. We don't have any Michelin pillows, which is. Huh. Anyway. Skull pillow. Oh, I don't know. There we go. Sleepy time pillow. Nah, th this is pretty much all I need. Oh, what's this? Oh, air freshener. <laughs> I've added some new new things. I don't think I can. Have I got any new? No. What about accessories? I think the astronaut though goes really well with the shuttle. Let's have a look at it. Ah, it looks really good. Alright. Sorry about this, folks. Bad timing for a phone call. Uh, seriously? I've only got about eight minutes anyway, so... 
We're going to head back to Barcelona. So we'll travel there. those. Okay. So we'll go to... No, not that. Trailer dealer. So trailer manager. Yep. Better buy some. So same as before. Go to our fleet configurations. By the. Should have probably bought those to begin with. Uh, a side door refrigerated. get the Goodyear one. Or should I just get this one? This one would go back. You know what? Screw it. So we've got those now. So now we can go to our trailer manager. Um, oh, okay, apparently it's automatically a private one. set up. So I am going to have to end the episode there folks, uh, probably a little early but got ourselves a B-double ready to go and uh, yeah we'll hop back into it in the next one. So folks I hope you enjoyed that, we hope to see you next week. We've got five more uh, unique cities to visit on the Iberian Peninsula, so very close now. But anyway uh, if you are enjoying the series, don't forget to consider subscribing. And also, if you're feeling generous, maybe even drop a like or a dislike. And of course, feel free to leave your comments below. I love hearing from you all. And until next week, take it easy. Bye for now.